Hi everyone, I've got a bit of a mess here and the reason being is that I want to show you how um, to use a converter if you don't know. So I've got the um, platinum carboning fountain pen which is written up here but you can't see it because it's covered in ink. Um, now I found it quite tricky to actually unscrew um, the bottom bit because what happens is I couldn't figure out whether it was empty or not but they started skipping so um, but looking at it you wouldn't you won't be able to say uh, whether it's empty or not because it looks quite dark especially from one side I don't know why it's from one side because I keep my pan most of the time upright so um, not sure about that so um, the, basically this bit here uh, is has the screwing part on both um, ends so the top part which you can see I don't want to take it out because it's going to um, get my hands dirty so this um, top part is looking the same as the bottom part and it's covered in ink because this is where the ink flows from the cartridge and then um, once you screw that bit in then you have the cartridge basically looking like this sticking out of this end and that's what it looks like but to unscrew they both screw the same um, direction so it makes it really hard um, to get this bit to unscrew for some reason so in the beginning when this pen was new it was the opposite the bottom part was unscrewing really easily and the top part I actually discovered later on so even if I try to screw the top part really strongly, I still, when I try to unscrew the pan, um, the top part gets unscrewed. So this is where I'm at and um, sort of checking the ball inside. I can now tell that it is empty. And I've, I've got the cartridge here, which I ordered on Amazon and I'll try to put the link uh, down below. Um, so it's, it's going to be an affiliated link because um, I get a small commission and you pay the same price if you if you want to order it. I have to say that this um, cart um, converter, cartridge converter looks super attractive. I have never seen a ink pen converter that looks so good. I like the fact that they went with the gold of the pen um, of the nib and it's just really beautiful. So it's got this... Um, in the middle there if you screw this and the black end um, you'll see that um, the tip uh, gets inverted and you need to make sure before you start filling the ink um, into your pan that this bit is at the bottom so the next thing you do is you insert it into the pan until you hear a click so basically do that and then you need to have your ink so i'm going to use the carbon ink from the bottle i haven't opened it in a really long time so now what you do is you stick this nip end into the ink like so and then start screwing the um this bit here which basically sucks the ink in or vacuums the ink up like a syringe and there is your ink so there is an air bubble here I don't know whether that's because I've done it for the first time um, but you know you can't just try and sort of tilt it up and get the um, air out like you would do with a syringe because the ink would just shoot out of here and make a lot of mess and whenever it comes to um, refilling uh, your fountain pen or just in general working with the ink make sure you have something that's protecting your um, that's protecting your desk because as you can see um, it can you can get a lot of mess so I've got um, in case you're interested um, this is a Ranger's um, crafting mat a mat which is great because it um, you can go over with heat tools and things like that and it's supposed to uh, uh, be great for any type of art and crafting now um, all that's uh, remained to be done is just to clean off the um, 
pan and we are done something else i wanted to share quickly uh, with you uh, before i go so um, i tried to use a wet wipe with um, cleaning off the pan but because um, the ink once it's dried it becomes waterproof it it's uh, actually quite hard to get rid of so you can see there is still some ink re residue on the top part of the on the top part right there of the pan and if I go over it nothing happens so I can't remove it so um, to remove it basically what I felt uh, what I found to be good first of all I go over with the wet wipe like so which doesn't seem to do much but and then sort of like polishing it almost with a dry tissue um, seems to be taking off the ink so that's what I would recommend to do or otherwise do it with maybe a, a, some soapy water or something like that but so that is it now the pan is nice and clean and ready to be used and you can see platinum carbon ink very clearly there okay thanks for watching and see you soon